Beautiful day, Patriots. How are you? It's a glorious evening. It's March 1st, 2019. And uh, let's talk about the timestamp and gap code. We've done a bunch of uh, decodes already today. This is the end of the day. What we're looking at is my personal notepad. At the beginning of the day, I write down POTUS Trump's first tweet of the day, and I just continue on throughout the day. I've got a bunch of notes that you're looking at. There's far more on the other page and uh, everywhere else around my desk. But uh, this is the Pacific Coast time zone. If you're on the East Coast, you're going to have a different hour, but your minutes are going to stay the same. So you can follow along because all we're really doing is looking at the time difference in between the gaps. I don't care what time the timestamp says. I just want to know how many minutes and hours were in between the tweets. If you're following my channel, you're already with me. Okay, so what I've noticed is that uh, we've got 10 tweets today. Uh, let's just, I'll just show you kind of how each day looks. You see, it's uh, just how you do it. It's just how you do it. So uh, the last four tweets today, uh, I have dots in them. We did a video earlier this morning talking about that. If we see four dots on the tweets, usually there is no time difference between the two tweets. And these are two great examples of that. To show you a different example of that, we just go up here to these two tweets. They both have a thread going with them. The first one had five dots. The second one had three dots. And there is a time difference in between the two. You can go back to my Twitter page and see the decode on that. We've got other decodes already. But let's just focus on those six tweets right now. If I take the timestamp and gap code and use this 103, 103 twice, and I go and use the gap here and the gap here, and then I take the next two down here, and I do the same thing. I use the gap from this tweet to this tweet. You see how I'm only using the, the, the dot tweets? These are the clues. You have to really kind of think about it. All this is way above and beyond our comprehension. Let me rephrase that. I apologize to put you in my category. I don't understand how they could do this. Absolutely incredible how all this math can happen. So let's look at just those timestamps, okay? Or excuse me, those gaps. The first one we're going to want to look at was over here, right? So from here to here is going to be 7 hours and 44 minutes, which gives us the timestamp and gap code of 7 hours and 43 minutes. Q drop, 743. The end is near. What they're doing is they're media cleansing. Go look at each one of these Q drops because I didn't have time to write down each one. There's a lot going on. Uh, please understand it's late. Uh, what else is it says? These people are stupid. Stupid. Uh, those people that scream the loudest have the most to lose, right? And who's doing the most screaming? Well, it's our MSM, the people that are running the show, the ones that are telling us the news, right? But they were also born into the family, right? Q told us this, okay? This is crazy, isn't it? It's really, it's really, we're working with some really bad evil. Thank God for Q. So our second uh, tweet we want to look at, same timestamp as this, but up to this one. And that's going to be 9 hours and 50 minutes. Uh, excuse me, 9 hours and 49 minutes. So our timestamp and gap code is 9 hours and 48 minutes. Q, 948. Enjoy the show. April showers, bring the rain, bring the rain. Okay, there's been an extreme effort trying to shut down uh, Twitter, Facebook. You guys saw this this week. We saw this the last few days. My Twitter was acting up really hard today. Uh, what more can I say? You guys already know this. So now let's look at the last two tweets, 308, four dots. We're going to go up to this dot and this dot thread tweet. The first one is 737. And the second one is 941. The first one, the 737, ends off with God's speed. But Q is talking about how he honors the Patriots. He just, it's really a touching, touching Q drop. It could not have happened without Q. But more importantly, Q is telling us it couldn't have happened without Patriots like you. The world would be lost without your effort. There's a lot of people that are doing videos and uh, Twitter, like what I'm doing here right now. And if you're not doing that, 
Don't you think that you're less? There's nobody above anyone. We were all equal. Where we go one, we go all. And if you are following Q and you're keeping yourself informed with Q, you're just as important as everybody else. Actually, we're just as important as the people that know nothing about Q because they're going to come along with us. Jesus loves us all. There's just no way around it. We're all confused out here because of pain and hurt. But where we go one, we go all. But it's people and patriots like you that are doing this effort, that are stepping up. Ah, oh, please, I, 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 I ramble. God loves me so much that I just love you so much. Gosh, praise the Lord. Okay, and our last one, 941. You know why us QAnons are going to win? You know why Q is so confident? You know why POTUS Trump took this job? Because it was an easy, e let me apologize, maybe not an easy victor. But look who we're working with. These people are stupid. They're Maxine Waters stupid. When you follow the devil, you fall for the lies. So, Patriots, God bless you. This is the time stamp and gap code. Uh, I've got a Twitter page. Beautiful day, Patriots United. Come on over. I've got hundreds and hundreds of examples. God bless you all.